As we discussed in the earlier video, it's pretty easy to multiply fractions. All you have to do is multiply the numerators together. So for this problem, 2 times 9 is 18, and 3 times 10 is 30. And then at the end of the problem, once we have our answer, it's not complete until we've simplified the problem. So we would be looking for a number that we can divide evenly into 18 and 30. And in this case, that would be 6. So 6 goes into 18 three times, and 6 goes into 30 five times. And so our, frac our, our answer is 3 fifths. It is also possible to use a method called canceling. And what canceling will do is let you sort of simplify the fraction before you do the multiplication. So you end up dealing with much smaller numbers. So by canceling, I mean, first of all, you can look to see if there is a way to simplify the fractions it's themselves. So 2 thirds can't be simplified and 9 tenths can't be simplified. Now, that's not going to work for us, but we do want to look at the other method of canceling. By that, what we're doing, by that I mean, what we're doing is looking at between, see if there's a relationship between the 2 and the 10, numbers that are across the fraction, and then the 3 and the 9. I can't look at 2 and 9 and 3 and 10. I have to look diagonally across. I need to make an X when I'm canceling. So if I look at the 2 and the 10, I realize that they can both be divided by 2 evenly. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now let's look at the 3 and the 9. Both of these numbers can be divided by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So now we really have new numerators and new denominators. So let's multiply the new numerators together. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 5 is 5. We end up with the exact same answer, but without having to simplify at the end because we simplified before we started multiplying. We canceled out in this problem.